All right, so here is my reading on love. So no matter how many readings I do, and if, even if it love didn't, didn't come through, people always wanted, want to hear about love in their life when you do an overall reading. And sometimes that aspect of your life is not there yet. But um, this was a question I asked when I pulled this card today. I asked, um, this is a reading on love, and how does one track love into their life? if they're seeking it. And it's quite all right to want a relationship and to seek it. So I never like it when uh, people try to make you feel like you shouldn't want love or maybe they are just they just don't want you to get hurt, so they don't want you to be desperate. But this is what, what came through. I got Lakshima. So what... Um, did I say it right? <laughs> Lakshmi. And um, she is the goddess of health, wealth, fertility... And um, what I got when I pulled this card is to, and, and then there's, there's actually a description I want to say for the cards too. And this card is not available in the States anymore. I got it a long time ago from a really good girlfriend. Um, it's the goddess of the new light. And I really love this card. It's by Pamela Matthews. And I think she's in New Zealand or something. And it, you have to order it through her website. But um, it's a shame it's not for sale anymore. I really love these cards. I was so happy that I, that I bought it. My girlfriend owned a uh, spiritual store, if you will. And she's like, you have to get these. These are beautiful. And um, I'm happy I did. So the message that I got, and this card is number nine. So it's sealed. It's, it's nine in numerology, if you look it up. New beginnings, endings. Um, basically, it's seal. It's done. And um, I'm moving around as I talk to you and give you this reading. But she's basically saying to to let it grow. Don't force it. Um, self love, of course, we know that first. And and uh, be, being comfortable in your own skin and enjoying your own company is the message I get. Honor yourself. Feel empowered. Respect yourself and let it flow. Once, once you put yourself on the path that you want to be on and you're focused and you're so in tune to who you are, then that love will come right onto your path because you're walking and you're living your truth and love will come. That, that energy, that person will be drawn to you and just listen to your, your intuition when you're, when you're seeking guidance for yourself and when anyone comes into your life, whether it's a love relationship or a friendship, just make sure that you listen to your 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 um your inner voice and let that guide you about that person. And uh, you should never feel rushed into anything, uh, and especially when it when it is love. So hopefully this rings true for you using the goddess cards for a love reading. And uh, definitely look up nine in numerology and um, see how that relates. Um, just to let you know, the symbols um, for this goddess is uh, lotus, uh, two elephants, gold, and uh, precious jewelry. So the goddess of the lotus, <laughs> look shimmy. So um, I hope this helps. And uh, I'll just read to you the affirmation in this book. So it has a little book with the Isis on the, on the cover there. So it says, All good things come to me from spirit. Health, creativity, abundance, and grace are all are mine now. So all good things come to me from spirit. Health, creativity, abundance, and grace are mine now. So hopefully that helps, and if you get the opportunity to get these beautiful cards, I truly hope that they become available again on Amazon. I'm such an Amazon girl. Anyway, I hope this helps, and uh, blessings. Have a great day. Namaste.